Mark your calendar for Sunday night, September 12th. WTOC-TV will present a special 3D movie, Gorilla at Large. See him swing right into your living room. See him run off with your women. Hey, nice elbow chop. See him climb your roller coaster. Get a load of that fancy footwork. See all this and more in 3D on color sets with these special 3D glasses. Available only at your nearby Shop and Go or IGA food store at 2 for 99 cents. So get your official glasses at Shop and Go or IGA and be watching Sunday, September 12th for Gorilla at Large. Hey everybody, it's Jumpman coming back at you with a Nooner video. A Nooner video. What are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about 3D movies in the 80s. And no, I'm not going to talk about the Friday the 13th 3D, Jaws 3D, or that Freddy Krueger where only 10 minutes or something was in 3D. I'm talking about local movies in 3D on your television. Now, the, what they would do, your local station would take a movie from maybe the 50s, um, and they would show it on TV in 3D. That's right, 3D at your own house. And I remember every, the local community would get all hyped up, or the local channel would really pump it up. And I would get so excited for you. For it. You would have to go down to your local um, car shop, or wherever you got your car fixed, maybe. Probably a local grocery store. That's why I remember the most. You go down there, and they would have their free glasses. The one with the blue lens and the red lens. And the one I remember the most is Gorilla at Large. It was a fake King Kong movie. But I remember they would just hype it up so much. You would see it on the local news. You would see local commercials about it. Like, make sure you got your 3D glasses. Tell your parents now you want your 3D glasses. Go get your 3D glasses and get enough for the family. I would get so hyped up for this. You would think a new Star Wars movie coming out. I was into 3D. I had 3D comic books. I used to like to take a red crayon and a blue crayon and try to draw my own 3D picture. Oh, I loved 3D. In fact, to me, that old 3D with the red and blue lens, to me, at the theater, like when I did see Jaws 3D, to me, that was a lot better than that 3D stuff they got now in the theaters. Sorry, I put the effects of Jaws 3D over the 3D effects of Avatar. Because I remember stuff coming back from behind me. But anyway, I remember these local... Uh, probably seemed like they should have around six seven o'clock not too late and they would always start these programs well it would be a local host probably somebody from your local news or something and they would show you how to get the 3d glasses to work you put them on and you had to adjust your color on the television and i remember one guy would shoot a pool stick at you i don't remember if it was local guys or not it wasn't professional it wasn't like real actors or you know famous people but i remember getting the tv set up all just right i don't remember getting so hyped up for these i mean i would be so hyped I remember they did one about Creature of the Black Lagoon. There's a few of them I can't remember. I don't know why Gorilla at Large is probably the, probably the one that sticks out the most. But I would get so hyped, I would ask my mom all the time, Did you get the 3D glasses? Did you get the 3D glasses? What, you went to the Pig of Wiggly and you didn't get the 3D glasses? Oh, what do you mean they're at the red and white store? Oh, oh Win Dixie's got them. Go to Win Dixie's and get them. I would get so high, I could not wait. The thing is, my family wasn't as hyped as I was. I can remember, maybe it was Gorilla Lord. The first one we watched, I can remember my brother and my sister and us kind of watching it. And I remember they watched probably about 10, 15. Probably got the 3D effect. And then, then they went to their room, you know, to do other things. But I watched that whole thing. We had a basement at my house uh, growing up. Um, that's where usually where we watch TV. It was a it was a finished basement. It wasn't like you know like on the '70s show. It was a finished basement, shag carpet, of course. My parents usually watch TV upstairs over the main floor, and I would be down there. I was like, oh, I got this place to myself, and I can watch this 3D movie. It was kind of scary. It was about a gorilla, you know. To me, it was King Kong. Oh, I would get so hyped up. It, my eyes would be hurting when the commercials came on. I would wear them 3D glasses. For a week, I bet. Maybe even more. I would want to wear them to school. I would want to wear them to the mall. I want to wear them wherever I went. I wanted my 3D glasses. Now, a lot of times they had the little slogan. They probably had some local uh, restaurants and stuff on it. Some local promotion on the glasses. And probably said, you know, grill at large. I had a grill, a grill on it or something. But, man, they were so... I remember those hosts at the beginning were just so cheesy. Now, I can remember one time they did a 3D movie, John Wayne. I think it was called Hondo. Hondo. I remember the advertising this. First time on network television. Not network television. First time on television, Hondo in its original 3D format. And I was like, oh my God. See, my dad was a big John Wayne fan. My grandpa was a big John Wayne fan. And I said, finally, I can get them hyped up for, for 3D as much as I'm hyped up. 
just thinking about them getting hyped up. They didn't care. They didn't even watch it. They didn't care. And I remember by this time, by the time the John Wayne one came on, the hype all over the town wasn't as, you know, I think I was the only one that was still hyped up for it. I'd tell people at school, hey, man, Hondo 3D, come on, Saturday, you can watch it. Oh, well, no, I got, a, I got a little league game. Huh. And to show you how much the hype was dying down, they used to show it like 6, 7 o'clock at night. They were showing uh, this like 2 o'clock in the afternoon on a Sunday. So you know the hype had died out. But man, I don't know if you guys remember that. It's just I don't remember it, I don't remember it being anything in the nineties. I don't remember it being in the seventies. I don't remember seventies too much. It might have been some in the seventies, but I just remember it being a thing to me that stapled in the eighties. I don't hear anyone talk about it. I did some Google searching. I couldn't even find local ads for it. I'm out which is I mean I found a few things. But back then they used to it seemed like everywhere you went, or just in my child mind, they promoted the hell out of these things. They wanted you to get those glasses, and they put it in your face, get the glasses, get the glasses, get the glasses. Oh, but I couldn't really find that much. I was trying to find that local, uh, like I said, I don't know if it's local. I found some video clips. I wanted one. There was one where the guy would show a pool stick coming at you when he was testing your glasses. I like that. But the uh, only ones I can remember off the top of my head is Gorilla at Large, uh, Return to the Creature of the Black Lagoon, or Revenge. And the uh, John Wayne one, but I'm sure they did more of them. Now, they weren't very good movies. I'm not going to sit here and say they were good movies or anything. No, they were not. I mean, I don't remember much about the movie. I was just hyped for the 3D. Loved it. Loved it. Anyway, I want to know out there do you remember this? Do you remember getting hyped up for these 3D shows or movies in the 80s? Do you remember going to your local grocery store or wherever to pick up your glasses wearing them being all excited oh was it just me was i just a stupid 3d nerd i was the one that got into this stuff uh you might be able to jump in what are you talking about i don't even remember anything like that maybe it was just <laughs> maybe they didn't do it everywhere maybe it was certain areas of the country or something or maybe it was just my local area but i doubt it because i found stuff online about gorilla at large and some other ones but let me know what you what you remember from the comments below, or if you don't remember at all, so I don't remember that, but it sounds pretty cool. Let me know that or anything you want to in the comments below, and we'll be back with a later video, but this is a Junkman Nooner. Thanks for listening. Pay attention, because here's everything you need to know about our 3D movie coming up Sunday night, September 12th at 8 o'clock. First of all, it's a full-color movie, and you can watch it without glasses, as you would any movie on a color or black and white set. But to see it in 3D, you'll need to watch on a color set with our special 3D glasses. And for the best 3D effect, make sure your color is adjusted properly on your set. We'll show you how to do that before and during the movie. In most cases, it's a simple one-knob adjustment. So hurry and get your 3D glasses at your nearby Shop and Go or IGA food store at 2 for 99 cents. Hey, Jumpman <laughs> channel popping, though. Thank you, sir, for that unsolicited testimony.